Tab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and Joe recently did a video about like his top favorite scripts, whatever, doing with auto hotkeys, challenged a bunch of us well-known people, YouTubers, or just people out there, to do our own top five. So here I am today, doing my top five. This was kind of hard to uh, get a few of them, because I've done so many. Um, but yeah, here's my top five. So starting at number one, if I can get my slideshow working. There we go. Auto Control Manager. Now, this is actually an extension on uh, Google Chrome, but it does work in other browsers that are Chromium based. Um, so it's not really Auto Hotkeys, but I use it with Auto Hotkeys. It's actually my favorite um, video I ever did because it's really what started me on YouTube. Uh, originally, COVID hit, I had a lot of free time. Uh, so I was helping out people, and this question was constantly coming up on how to use AutoHotKey with your browser, like specifically Chrome, since a IE had pretty much cycled out at the time. And so I came up with this and uh, did a video. So half of this video was in AutoHotKeys, the rest was like in JavaScript, but it's still one of my favorites just because, you know, it's what got me started on YouTube. It's one of my most popular videos, especially since it was my first one. So that, you know, that really is pretty much my number one uh, script there coming in at number two is a work tool i'm not saying the name of it um, but i used to work for this company and originally someone had developed this tool using all auto hotkeys uh, eventually i took over the project and pretty much tripled the code i think it was around eighty thousand lines of code maybe if i remember correctly it's been a few years um, but it was a huge tool. It was the biggest project I've ever worked on with that many lines of code. It was all in auto hotkey. And I mean, it did a lot of stuff. It was insane. It had a little bit of AI kind of in there. It helped multiple teams. So it wasn't just like for me, it was for like the whole, you know, department basically and all the sub teams. And in, I mean, it saved hundreds of thousands of hours. Uh, a year, which means, you know, more money saving, uh, co clients were happier because we were making less mistakes because we had a lot of, you know, stuff that would trigger depending on what you do, just reminding you of rules and whatnot. But it was definitely a lot of fun. I did that for years and it was just the amount of code in this was absolutely insane. But even with that much code, it, it was so easy to learn within like a day or two and you just pretty much flowed through your work way Way better than doing everything manually and a lot of editing that it did on its own in the back um, to help prevent mistakes being made from human error. Um, number three is Streamrite. I don't really work on this project anymore, but it was the first personal project I ever did with Auto Hockeys. Uh, I got kind of sick of trying to remember all these TV shows and what streaming service they were on. You know, I had. Disney Plus, Netflix, Hulu, Prime, and I'd be like, okay, I know a new season just came out of this one show, but was it on Hulu? Was it on Prime? Like, it was a pain to have to either Google it or go through all the apps on the smart TV. So Streamrite, basically, you input the TV shows you like, it added them to a GUI, and you could click on that, and it would just automatically in your browser go straight to you know, Netflix and to that show. So it just made it a lot faster, more organized. I could also set reminders of, okay, season three of this show releases, you know, November 7th. And I would get a notification that morning letting me know that that new season was released that day. So it was also a great way to set reminders. But it was my first, like, personal project that I really did. Um, I actually have a video on that, and I believe it's still live on the website if you guys want to check it out. I mean, even if you want to do some of the source code and make it better than what I did, because I was pretty new at the time and never really got too far into it, let me know in the comments below. You know, I'd be happy to work with someone. It'd be pretty cool. Coming in at number four, we got Trove Fishing. The reason I picked this one is for a video game. And let me say first, it wasn't cheating. Um, there was mods out there that let you did the, do this, but I found auto hotkeys to be... Uh, the most efficient way to do it because it gave me more freedom of changing the code myself for instance in a built-in mod for the game uh, and this was actually my first introduction to auto hotkeys is i was trying to find a way i stumbled across the code i knew enough coding to understand even though i've never used auto hotkeys to manipulate it to the way i want it 
And it was like maybe five years later, I got that job with uh, the one I was saying about the tool at the job. And I started recognizing the code. So it was just kind of funny that I was like, wait, I've used this code before. But it was like five years later. Um, so this is really on my list because it was the first time I ever, you know, saw auto hockeys or even heard of it. But then I forgot it for years. And then eventually it became a huge part of my job. So that's when, you know, my YouTube channel and just my projects really took off with uh, AHK uh, versus other languages. So I was very happy. It's always like my memory of my first memory of auto hockeys, basically. Coming in at number five, we got ground scanning. This one was one of my favorite projects I ever did with auto hockeys. Um, there was this company that I was working with, and it was kind of like one of my first like big clients, I guess you would say, uh, when I had started my YouTube channel. So it's really what got me into that more. And it was just a cool idea. So this guy basically lived in all around the world. Um, he worked for a company that would scan properties, land, uh, just to see like what was underground, you know, for, and then they would sell the data to oil or mining companies so they could decide, you know, is this land worth purchasing? So at the time he was going to the Arctic Circle, living on a frozen island in the middle of a frozen lake. And his job, basically, he was living in, I guess, like a yurt or something. He had to, you know, wake up in the morning, put all these warm clothes on, go out to this machine, push some buttons. It would scan the ground. The data then was sent wirelessly to his laptop, which at that time, then he had to go back into the yurt, take off his warm clothes because it was nice and toasty in there open up the file that it came with, sort through the data, and input it to this program, and then save it in, you know, whatever format. Then he had to put all his back, his uh, warm clothes on, go back outside, and just do this all day. I was able to automate it that it would detect when this file was being received from the machine, and it would automatically, without even opening it, it used comms, it was able to grab the data, automatically put it into this program, save it as need it be, and then he never had to go back inside. And I even added a second like layer of security for this system where I had that HK script running, but I also had a second one that if anything went wrong, it would hopefully notice that something wrong, like the program crash or it locked up on a certain screen for some reason, it would actually text his cell phone, letting them know like, hey, I think something went wrong. That way he could then, you know, stop what he was doing outside, go in and maybe restart the program or see what happened. Maybe some stupid antivirus program popped up with like, hey, renew your subscription today. And then it, you know, screwed up the script. It would notice this kind of thing and text him. So as like a safety feature. So that one had a lot of cool stuff just because it was interesting to see his life with this um, and all that. But yeah, those are the top five auto hockey scripts memories I have. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you all on the next video. See ya!